I ask to take you, Rachel, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise before God and all who are present here that I will always place Christ in the center of our marriage and reflect his love in our relationship. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, from this day forward, as long as we both shall live. I promise before God and all who are present here that I will always place Christ at the center of our marriage and reflect his love in our relationship. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in us and in health, from this day forward, as long as we go to Father in heaven, give your blessing upon this marriage of Austin and Rachel. We thank you for the vows that they have spoken, for the love in which they are now united. Keep them faithful and strong in every trial. Sustain their joy and affection for as many years as you give them. Surround them in good company of your people. Lord Jesus, we are thankful that you will be acknowledged as the head of their home, the master of their lives. Lead and guide them always. Forgive them in times of sin and teach them to be forgiving and sacrificial in their love for one another. Holy Spirit, equip them with patience and endurance, with tenderness and courtesy, and mutual trust and lasting love. Grant that their home will be often be a place of fulfillment and joy, and in times of trouble may be a haven, a safe place for comfort and healing. May they and any children you may give them live their lives in constant praise and glory to you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. As a minister of the gospel in the church of Jesus Christ and in accordance with the laws of this state of Michigan, I now pronounce you Austin and Rachel, husband and wife, in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, when God is joined together, let man not separate. Yeah. I think we can have a cheer for that. Austin, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Pleased to present to you, there it is, Mr. and Mrs. Austin Hedley. <laughs> uh, we had another Sunday dinner that wasn't so awkward. Um, 
um, and man, dinner, and sit right and stuff in prayer. And uh, Rachel goes in prayer. <laughs> and uh, that's when it kind of clicked that uh, I think uh, we thought she was going to be around for a little while. We are so proud uh, of both of you um, and the choices that you've made. Growing up, I wanted to be just like my sister. When I was younger, my happy even got to the point where my mom would have to buy me a duplicate of Rachel's birthday presents. <laughs> I looked up to Rachel for as long as I can remember. Whether that be for her grace, her always perfect outfit choices, or for her strong, unwavering faith in God. Rachel, you are the type of sister that every girl wishes they had. For my whole life, you've been my voice of reason, my biggest healer, and my role model. You've been there for me in my saddest days, and you've been alongside me in my happiest days. The more I got to know Austin, the more I saw his character. I learned how patient and hardworking he is. I saw through countless actions how much he loves my sister, and more importantly, how much he loves God. I'm so excited to have him as my brother and to be his very first sister. Austin and I's relationship started at the end of freshman year of high school, <laughs> and it's all been his recent. We've grown together almost like brothers. Some of the best and worst memories came from the long summer nights, bonfires at each other's houses, and quieting the fight in the As time passed and memories were made, I remember this phone call almost like two years ago, like it was yesterday. So I have this girl that I want to ask her, what do you think about it? It is the boss's daughter. <laughs> After I pause and chuckle in my head, I'm a whole boy. <laughs> you better be careful and you want your doing. <laughs> While always remembering to show her love for the time that she, isn't, that she needs. Now enjoy the amazing gift of marriage. While always keeping God centered in your life. I pray as well as everyone here that your marriage will last a lifetime. Like you promised earlier this evening. May you guys grow together in a lifelong journey that God has in store for two of you. Better when I